But when I did Segretti, the thing I noticed, they sent me over to Redford's office immediately. I wanted to see film on Segretti, if I'm playing a man who's still living. It's a terrific responsibility actors should feel, even if they don't. They really have to earn the right. And once, once, once they get the chance to uh, portray another human being, they have to respect it. So I went and I saw a little tape some cassette they had of Segretti. He was trying to avoid newsmen out at the marina and all the, everything had hit the fan. And um, I only heard him say one thing on camera, but the, you're holding a camera like that and all the newsmen were there and stuff and, and he was nervous. He kind of half liked it and he half had to get away because he was scared. He was very scared. Huh. Uh, it's heavy stuff in, involved in Watergate. So, uh, he was looking in the camera and he just I kept asking him questions. Donald, uh, Mr. Segretti, Mr. Segretti. And he just said, when are you guys going to get off my back, you know? And he waved and he tried to get to his car. And uh, that grin, his eye, he had that big grin and his eyes were lit, but they weren't smiling. He uh, was scared or something. And when he grinned, it was like all I saw were teeth and a very round face, like a chipmunk kind of thing. So when I got, to the, got there, I said, I knew I had to stuff my cheeks to get that look. And I drank a lot of malteds to try to just put on a few weight, in a, a little weight in a few days. But these were the makeup sponges that we cut down. Um, I don't know if they still fit. I shelled them all the way up. And I had the hair, I dyed the hair and cut it above my ears. And he had that kind of, hi, I don't know if they have quite the same effect, but it's that kind of a grin. I stuffed them all the way up. Uh, what can I do for you? You know, it was that kind of thing. And then, you know, when I talked, it just gave me that puffy, round, round kind of thing that I wanted, and also gave me more of a nasal quality voice. And you stuff. didn't have a hard time talking? Um, well, when, when these, what happened is these sponges started sopping up the saliva in my mouth and got me dry. Then we went to cotton. We wadded up some cotton. We tried, first I tried it with bubble gum and it kept slipping down. We tried different ways of doing it and, uh, at one point I was shooting so many hours with the cotton, it had dried in my, inside of my cheeks and they started bleeding, you know, just from being raw, from no, no, no moisture, no saliva. That's a small price, very tiny price to pay for the privilege of, of doing uh, something that is a document of our times. I mean, films, uh, films are very responsible for me. They, they capture something forever.